Hi, this is Bill from Bill DeBucker and Electric City Pickups. And today I am shooting a video as promised on how to install the vintage braid wire on your Bill DeBucker kit. And we're going to start right here on this. What I started with was a piece of vintage braid. I slid the braiding back about a good inch. Give yourself room to work when the pickup's all together. Uh, I pre tin the wire because that's what I do here. You don't have to, you can solder it right in place. And what I'm going to do now is take my iron, clean it off, and I want to make sure I get a good bond to the base plate. A little solder to get it flowing. That's it. Now what I'm doing now is I mounted the screw bobbin, and we need to connect... The start lead, which on, on build a and Electric City pickups comes out the bottom hole, so there's no mistaking for it. Now, the start lead, you want to connect to ground. I had a lot of people ask me, well, how do you do that? There's many ways, and Gibson did it many ways. Sometimes they tacked it in the middle, over here on the edge, and sometimes even back where we did that solder joint uh, to connect the vintage braid, they do it. But for, for ease of doing it, it, and it works fine, I'm going to connect over here underneath the corner of the slug bobbin. That's why the slug bobbin's not mounted. I already pre-trimmed the wire and I tinned the tip of it. Next, what I'm going to do is get a dab of solder going right here, a little blob. See that nice little round blob of solder? And now I'm going to take that wire that's pre-tinned. That's it. That's all it takes right there. Now that we have that done, you have room. You tuck that back down in there. Now comes time uh, to mount the screw bobbin. Okay, now we got the slug bobbin mounted and the pickups put together. Now we're going to do our final connections. We really have two connections left to do. It's the two finished leads, which is also called the series lead, and the hot lead off the slug coil which is the start lead. That's going to go to our cotton-coated uh, uh, lead wire here. First, I'm going to start with our uh, with the series link. All I'm doing is something really simple. Twist them together. And for this wire here, I tend to like it a little shorter so it tucks in better. I myself, I'm trimming it down a little bit. I'm going to push the uh, push the cotton back. Now I can wrap my my hot lead right around it. And the same here. Wrap that good and tight on there. Okay, now they're both ready to solder. And pretty much when we're putting these wires together, I, I really prefer call tinning it. You're tinning the wires together. And then all we have left here is to trim them neatly. And for sake, for ease of sake, I wrap mine typically. But in this case, this is also a very acceptable method that's been used for years. Take a piece of your tape that comes with your kit. Lay it on there. Fold it over and pinch it. You've got a you've got a great insulated joint right there now. And I'm going to repeat the process for the series link. Same thing again. Lay that on there flat. Get it over. And you have a good joint. Now you can tuck your wires in two ways. I mean, I usually lay them in there, but if you don't want to be jamming wires down around the base plate, the series link usually fits in there very beautiful it goes right between the coils get it in there get your screwdriver slide her on in and then uh, this one here I tend to push down that's pretty much it you're ready for your finishing taping 
Thank you again for watching my video and have a great day. Bye.